shirts. Guys, excuses like my shirt is so wrinkled. We have been camping now for the past 14 Two weeks. days. We have finished the clothes. <laughs> in this video, we are not in our natural environment. We are now in uh, Waterberg Wilderness Park. And we wanted so to talk to you about something that I'm very passionate about. is camping in Africa. <laughs> Namibia because this is where I've been camping all my life I should put it this way beside the trips that we have done together like um, Al and myself that I have also camped in Namibia before as a student and I have to say camping here is really really beautiful private and the camp place are well made for the price that you pay is you got a lot yes Al, you have electricity you have your own shower you have uh, your own bathroom, uh, you have uh, your own kitchen. It's almost having uh, like a mini apartment, but in the wild. I think for most Europeans, when you think of camping in Africa, you just think, oh my goodness. I mean, TV doesn't show good stuff about Africa on TV. Oh, just the news channel don't show a lot of positive things about Africa, to be honest. And most European friends that I have also, when I talk to them about, oh, Oh, I'm going camping and I'm even like oh are you sure camping but I have also camped in Europe and I have to say the campsite here they are well made they are very private they, they are way way better than what I've experienced when we did camping mm -hmm. in uh, Tuscany for example now what makes it better so for me the first the first thing that makes this different from camping places in Europe is privacy here you book a campsite when you book a campsite it's only for you and whoever you're traveling with it's not for other people that you you yes. know you find there for you what is important or what makes it so different for me it's of course nature they like, are ah, okay how wild the campsite are yes not only the wild but it just the things that you can see is amazing yesterday in the evening we had a porcupine <laughs> just rooming around our fire while we were dining and uh, i don't know <laughs> even if you don't need like uh, you don't need to feed the wild animal we had some uh, leftover carrots from our particles and the porcupine came all the way next to us and uh, eat the ate the carrots it was really amazing it just, <laughs> and came... this kind of, this kind of experience are priceless are something that you will never experience in europe in a campsite because of course, we have we are too many, and we have destroyed our nature. Second is the facilities. Yeah. Now, in Europe, let me say in Italy, these are the camp places that I've experienced. You have a camp places like an open farm, and then they just tents next to each other. It's a tent, it's a tent like that. You see everything, yes. everything, everything. Then you have one grill place if you are lucky. You have one, one grill place somewhere where all these 300 people should go and grill. One bathroom everywhere, far away. And that's camping. Then there's no parking place for your car. It has to be outside the camping. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to still pay for the parking outside the camping place. Now, in Namibia, a campsite is made in a way, in most camping places, a campsite is made in a way that you have your own grill stand there. Mm-hmm. You have your own um, bathroom and toilet in your camp place. It's just for you and the people that you are coming with. Mm -hmm. If you come by yourself, you're going to use that by yourself. Then the second, the other, the third thing is then you have always a, a power point, like a electricity thing where you can plug whatever, charge your stuff and one main light. Yes. All that come to a cost which is, I would say... 40% um, or 60% less than the cost of a camp place in uh, Italy. We yeah. paid last time about 30 euros per person maybe. And just to put up a tent on almost on top of other tents. Or what do you think as a European? As a European, uh, like uh, it's almost like I have, having an apartment in the wild. It's <laughs> amazing. 
<laughs> yeah, and I want to know, I'm just out of curiosity, before you came to Namibia, were you, what was your imagination of camping in Africa? I didn't have any <laughs> idea, seriously. I was open, uh, I was expecting not something like, well, as well organized as I found. I found probably really much better. The level of camping in Namibia is way, way higher than in Europe. You have, uh, included in the price that you have, the, the, of the space that you are renting, you have water, you have uh, electricity, you have private bathroom. That is something that in Europe you never find. Uh, the, the, usually campsites are shared with more tents, as Lampy said. Uh, the bathroom is also shared with uh, probably other 20 or 40 people. No. It's, like, it's bad, so I didn't expect it to be that comfortable that in that camping in Namibia in Africa, but it's really nice. I think I like the fact that you're just open-minded. You didn't have like, oh my goodness, Limpy, I mean, am I going to survive this? No, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's Ali. When I first went with you camping in Italy, I was disappointed. I was like, next time we are camping in Namibia, I can show you what real camping is. Yes. And if you're lucky in some of these camping places, you also find uh, free firewood. If you don't find free firewood, then you have free, you have firewood that you can buy at the reception. So it's always like, you know, it's a camp, there has to be fire. Yeah. But I would say most of the camping, we didn't even make fire at all in Italy. There was no space to make fire because it's like tent, 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 tent. Yes. The next thing is, let me ask about your favorite camping place so far in Namibia. It depends. As a facility, I have to see the two camping that we have seen around Divundu, both uh, the... Um, what was that? The Mobola Lodge and, and the Shamentu. They are really, really lovely place. They are situated in the heart of the Kavango region and next to the Kavango River. And uh, um, it's just beautiful because uh, all the campsite uh, and the lodges are nearby the river and you have this spectacular flow of the water that is constant uh, and you can observe hippos and crocodile is really amazing wilderness and as safari in the intrinsic world like sea wildlife uh, i think the the Senyati. camp Senyati, the camp in botswana that we have seen is so far the most uh, amazing because of the there is like no boundaries between the campsite and the wilderness so you are in the middle of the wild there is no actually electric fence that protect you from the wild animal uh, the, the only things that protect you are like some guards that are doing some I rounds they uh, protect you they don't yeah, have any weapon <laughs> they don't have any weapon the only things that they, they do is that they they chase away the wild animals with, with their lamp stick. Or with a stick, with a stick or with a lamp, I don't know. They but I think they warn you, people. like, they stay quiet, the wildlife is approaching. Yes. I think they warn you like that. But really, the elephant, the, the opportunity of seeing the elephant so close, we never have seen something like that in uh, in Namibia. And yeah. it, it was spectacular and uh, really an amazing experience that if you are doing safari, of course, is something that you really, really need to do. Senyati is wild i think for me this is i would also say now is the best camp place the wilderness like you've said and the water hole is well made and this is also one important thing i want to highlight camping places in africa most of them are made for safari purposes yes so in most camping place you have a water hole right next to the camping place where you can observe the animals Senyati has an amazing water hole and there I have never seen so many buffaloes in my entire life before. Oh uh, yeah. It's All beautiful. these uh, buffalo, there were probably more than 200 or so. Antelopes also like the impalas, a lot of impalas. Then elephants is like 24, 7 there are elephants. Then when it comes to cats, even though we actually didn't see any yeah, lion or any thing. cat, in the background, it gives you adrenaline when you're sleeping. Like, yes. You lion, hear lion fighting, fighting. hyena feeding, and the elephant just walk behind your campsite, going to the yes, water hole. Yes, and, and they, when they they fight the elephants, they their sound is like the noise that they make. They have the vibration. You can feel it inside your body. So like it, it shake you. It's incredible. In Namibia or within Namibia, my favorite campsite so far, uh, honestly, before it was Okaukweo in Etosha because that is also good for wildlife observation I have to say that 
the waterhole is beautiful. But at the moment, now that I've visited Divundu, those campsites in the Divundu area, Mombola campsite, is so beautiful. Then you have Shamentu, they're just on the edge of the river. You have a beautiful get a chance to beautiful sunset on the Okavango River, crocodile viewing, hippo viewing. Just amazing. Those are really, really well made. And considering they cost way, way cheaper. Cheaper. They cost about 880 mm -hmm. for four people. And here we are paying about a thousand. So they cost about 200 now maybe dollars cheaper than the rest of the campsite, but I think they are better because they are most of their clients comes from the Victoria Falls. So yes. they are comparing probably themselves to campsite in in um, in Botswana. Yes. So yeah, Senyat was also my favorite in Namibia. I would give it to in the Divundu area. So we visited Mombola and then the Shamentu, very nice. In central Namibia, I would give it away to. To Etosha, Kaukau is good. Yes, Kaukau is nah. really nice. I really wanted to also say something about Erindi because Erindi is in, also in Central Namibia, very famous. The campsite are good if you want comfort. Yes, they are really well made. Comfort. You have a fridge. You have a shade. You have. A we have stove. a fridge. That was the only campsite that we have seen with a fridge. Not a mini one. A normal <laughs> fridge, like you have in your house. Yes, with, with a, a freezer, freezer, with a deep freezer and a normal fridge. <laughs> yes, so it was like for apartment. comfort, you have a water kettle already. You have a water kettle, you have electric stove. Yes, you have electric stove, you have several lamps around, hot, hot steaming, hot water. Water, hot steam water that was... <laughs> you have also a table. Limitless. Yes, so Arinti is beautiful for comfort, but... For their water hole around the campsite, it's not the best. I think, okay, I was excited about it because you get to see hippos in central Namibia, but for wildlife, this water hole around the campsite no, is not I the had, best. No, I had the feeling that the hippos were placed there, like, <laughs> it, it was more like the zoo field. The, the, yes. the elephants are real, huh? yeah. the elephants are nice and they're real. But the hippos the, and the crocodile, they were placed it there. It didn't feel like they're in, I mean, of course, they are not in their natural environment. And, and as yes. for an ecologist, point of view you kind of feel that yep. i also felt i think they're feeding the animals something so i saw some stuff around the hip area in some minor salt but maybe they're only doing that this year because it's uh, very dry i don't know but not the best in terms of wildness but in terms of facility comfort arindi is like the hot water run 24 7 they don't run out of hot water no. so yeah so if, guys want to experience real camping. Even you remember in Suakop, I met up with some German guys and they were like, I, I didn't know what camping is until I moved to, to Namibia. Namibia. Like if you want to experience real camping, you have to do camping in Africa. Absolutely amazing, very safe. So far I haven't encountered a dangerous animal on the, I mean, if you encounter it, it's also part of the safari, but it's quite safe. So. Come to Namibia or come to Africa in general and just experience experience camp. experience camping and experience wildlife, experience nature. Get in contact with your with another part of your inner self that you didn't know. <laughs> yes, I hope you found some tips. Also, if you, I hope you find some campsite that you like and that you're going to visit in the future. If you have some questions, leave that in the description below. Or if you also maybe we have missed an important, some important information, leave that in the discussion section below. And again, if you like this video and the rest of our camping content, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and most important always, a comment. We are hoping that these videos are going to be up very soon. It has been two weeks without two weeks. releasing anything because we are really... Camping is nice, but it's hectic. Every day you have to wake up and, you know, clean up everything and move to the next site. So we've been very busy. Very, very busy. We didn't have any chance I to work. I didn't even check my email the past yeah. two weeks. <laughs> I know. So that was it. And ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao. Guys, look at this beautiful view. I remember last time we actually went all the way down. This is the end of us doing safari in Namibia. I feel like we're still gonna come back and explore more. This is I mean, it's very beautiful. Kids. Huh? You, don't you want to show your country to your kids? 
of course it's very beautiful here and the nature is i haven't visited a lot i mean i seen Botswana and I'm also thinking Botswana might be worth visiting. The wildness. The only trick with Botswana is that with that wildness, you also need an experienced driver. We wanted to go to the explore the Chobe Park, but a eh, loose scent. We got stuck once and then we, we got stuck once. We lost control once and we thought, okay, no, just star road and then we are out of here. <laughs> we have seen enough elephants. Okay. Yeah.